Hello friends, welcome back to VSM Maths Tutorial YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about Lagrange's mean value theorem and problems on Lagrange's mean value theorem. So first uh, we'll move on to the proof of the Lagrange's mean value theorem. So it is very simple, very simple concepts also. So first I'll go for this statement. Statement. What exactly the Lagrange's mean value theorem? Suppose if I consider, suppose if I consider a real valued function f of x, which satisfies the following conditions. Or suppose a real valued function f of x is continuous is continuous in the closed interval a comma b the function f of x is differentiable in the open interval a comma b then there exists at least one point c in the open interval a comma b such that such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so this is what exactly the statement of the lagrangius mean value theorem this is in short form we call it as lmvt lagrangius mean value theorem okay so what exactly the statement says consider or if we consider a simple real valued function f of x which is continuous in the closed interval a comma b which is differentiable in the open interval a comma b then there exists at least one point c in the open interval a comma b such that f dash of c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so this is what the statement of the Lagrangius mean value theorem. Now we are going to prove the statement. So how to prove that is very important and very simple concept. Okay. So to prove this, I have to define one simple arbitrary function. So let us define, let us define a simple function. Let us define a simple function phi of x equal to f of x minus k into x call this equation as 1. f of x is a simple function which is easily differentiable. Since it is differentiable, we can easily tell that it is continuous also. x is a polynomial term. This is also easily differentiable we can easily tell this is also continuous because we know that all differentiable functions are definitely continuous functions. But converse is not true. I mean, converse part is not true because all continuous functions need not be differentiable that we all know. You can see here, f of x and kx, both are continuous, both are differentiable. Therefore, it's a difference. Phi of x is also continuous as well as differentiable. So clearly, phi of x is continuous in the closed interval a comma b and differentiable, differentiable in open interval a comma b. Now to prove this Lagrange's mean value theorem, we make use of the Rolle's theorem. Rolle's theorem is the fundamental theorem to prove all mean value theorems. According to Rolle's theorem, the function should be continuous, the function should be differentiable, and f of a is equal to f of b. Since our function is phi of x here, so phi of a should be equal to phi of b, and this result holds good. This result holds good only if, only if, phi of a equal to phi of b. So their result should be equal. That means 
phi of x what we have f of x minus kx so phi of a what happens that is f of a minus k into a equal to f of b minus k into b or from this i can easily find out k value so i am shifting this f of a to that side and minus kb to this side so minus kb becomes plus kb so minus ka kb minus ka equal to f of b minus f of a or k is the common factor if i take common factor so it is b minus a equal to f of b minus f of a or k equals to this is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a this is k which is a constant need to be determined so we have done here so call this equation number 2 so as per the rolle's theorem all the three conditions are satisfied continuity satisfied differentiability satisfied phi of a equal to phi of b satisfied then there exists at least one point c in the open interval a comma b such that such that f dash of c equal to 0 this is the statement of rolle's theorem then what is f dash of c equal to 0 instead of f since we have defined function as phi of x here so that is phi dash of c equal to 0 see why i have written f dash of c usually in the rolle's theorem we will consider the function f of x okay since we have taken one arbitrary function here phi of x that's why we have to make phi dash of c so phi dash of c equal to 0 so how to find out phi dash of x we know phi of x here so what is phi of x phi of x equal to f of x minus kx then if i differentiate this with respect to x i'll get phi dash of x so f becomes f dash of x minus kx becomes k so if i replace x by c here i'll get phi dash of c so what happens that is f dash of c minus k so i have phi dash of c equal to 0 i'll just replace this phi dash of c value that is f dash of c minus k equal to 0 or f dash of c equal to k you call it as equation number 3 so from 2 and 3 so i know k value here if i substitute in equation 3 so what happens that is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a equal to f dash of c this is what the proof of the lagrange's mean value theorem i hope it is understood dear students so very simple concept now we'll move on to the problems on this lagrange's mean value theorem so usually problems is with respect to lagrange's mean value theorem so we are going to uh, verify the lagrange's mean value theorem so the statement of the problems is uh, usually verifications part so verify lagrange's mean value theorem like that so i'll take uh, uh, one or two simple problems with respect to lagrange's mean value theorem here so i'll take one simple example here so what is that example so verify lmvt lmvt indicates lagrange's mean value theorem so for the function for the function f of x verify lmvt for the function f of x equal to so i'll take one simple example that is x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 in the interval 0 comma 4 0 comma 4 so we are going to verify lmvt for this problem so to verify lmvt we should check the continuity and differentiability conditions here okay so i'll just go for the solution part so first thing you can see here it's a polynomial term x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 if i simplify this so it is like one simple polynomial okay since it is polynomial it is easily differentiable since it is easily differentiable we can tell that it is continuous also so clearly clearly f of x is continuous f of x is continuous in the closed interval 
zero comma four. Now we have to check its derivative exist in zero comma four or not. Okay, so I'll check its differentiation that is f dash of x. So what happens f dash of x before I go for the f dash of x because if I directly do the differentiation, so the process become tedious. So I have to simplify this. If I simplify this, so what happens it is x cube minus six x square plus 11 x minus six. Okay, you just multiply x into x x square x square into x x cube x into minus two minus two x minus two x into uh, minus three like that if we simplify i'll get this polynomial term now i'll differentiate this so that is f dash of x so what happens f dash of x x cube differentiation three x square minus six x square differentiation 12 x plus 11 x differentiation 11 so derivative exists f dash of x exists in the open interval 0 comma 4. Now we have to find out f of a and f of b because we need the data to substitute in the LMVT formula. So what happens f of a that is f of 0. So f of a value is nothing but f of 0. So what happens f of 0 value you can see here if you substitute 0 here, x cube 0, x square 0, x 0, so we have only minus 6. And f of 4, if I calculate, so 4 cube minus 6 into 4 square plus 11 into 4 minus 6. So what I'll get, I'll get answer as 6. Okay. So once we got all these values, I'll just go for the required LMVT. That is, there exists at least one point C in the open interval 0, 4, such that f dash of C, that is, f of B minus f of A divided by B minus A. So this is what exactly LMVT. So we know all the values. So I'll substitute here. So what happens? f of 4 minus f of 0 divided by 4 minus 0 that is equal to f dash of c here f dash of x here if i just replace x by c here i'll get f dash of c so what happens that is 3c square minus 11c plus 11 then f of 4 value also have calculated 6 minus of minus 6 divided by 4 that is equal to 3c square minus 12c 3c square minus 12c plus 11 okay sorry i think here also it is 12 i just written 11 so it is 12c so what happens if i simplify this it is uh, 6 minus 6 become plus 12 plus 12 divided by 4 it becomes 3 if i cross multiply and if i simplify it so what happens it is uh, 3c square minus 12c plus 8 equal to 0. 3c square minus 12c plus 8. This is 12. 12 by 4, 3 plus 3. If it goes to right hand side, it becomes minus 3. 11 minus 3 is 8. Since it is a quadratic equation, so if I solve this equation, I will get 2c values. What are those 2c values? 12 plus square root of 48 divided by 6 and 12 minus square root of 48 divided by 6. So if I get this answers, so answers are C equal to 3.15 and 0 0.85. So you can see the interval 0 and 4. If I draw 0 and 4 somewhere on the line, both 3.15 and 0.85 lies inside the 0 and 4. Therefore, we can tell that this is 3.15 and 0 0.85 belongs to the open interval 0, 4. Therefore, LMVT is verified. LMVT is verified. Okay. 
I hope uh, you uh, everyone know this, uh, how to solve this quadratic equation. That's why I'm not uh, mentioned here. We are supposed to use this formula minus p plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a because these are not easily factorizable. We are supposed to use this formula and we need to get this answer. I hope it is very useful for you people. So if you like this video, so kindly uh, mention your comments in the comment box. So thank you. We'll meet with you next video. Thank you so much.